Allora, visto che la scuola è chiusa, cerchiamo di utilizzare il tempo facendo una, portando avanti il programma con un'analisi ehm, del brano che voi avete già letto e, e che è appunto Eveline. Ok, this is the written text, so you can use this written text to study on. What I'm doing now is just to give you an, an explanation of the most important points of the text. First of all, uh, we can say that uh, Dubliners is a quite complex uh, book, is, a quite, is made of quite complex uh, short stories, even if it is apparently very simple. Uh, in fact, if we read the text, we see that the author recreates a, a very realistic atmosphere of the city. He recreates places, describes uh, places of Dublin, he also recreates characters, uh, and also the language is the same they used in Dublin. But at the same time, we can find in all the stories a very um, elaborated and very subtle uh, symbolism which gives uh, um, the, to the, the very common objects we find in the stories, uh, co objects and situations, uh, a very particular meaning, a deeper and unexpected meaning. Uh, for example, we have already talked about the epiphany, Uh, the epiphany, meaning revelation and manifestation, um, gives us, uh, recalls us the idea of Jesus Christ and Magi. And in his stories, uh, the epiphany are, um, the epiphany is the moment when a very simple uh, banal object or a very simple uh, ordinary situation Uh, makes uh, uh, the people, uh, the, the characters, uh, realize which is their real condition, which is normally miserable, uh, but what is important is that they understand the truth about uh, their life. Eveline is one of the shortest stories, one of the shortest uh, mm, short stories in, um, in Dubliners, Uh, and we remember that Dubliners, when it was firstly published, it didn't have a very great success. It wasn't accepted by the, uh, by the Dubliners, also because it was seen as a, um, a, a sad description of, uh, of the city. Um, but nowadays, uh, the, the whole uh, book and all the stories contained uh, have a different, a very different uh, evaluation because they are considered as the real example of modernist fiction. Uh, Eveline is uh, the story of uh, an Irish woman, uh, 19 years old, uh, and she's going to leave her violent father and also the terrible uh, living condition in Ireland in poverty and sacrifice because she wants to have a better life, to join a better life in Buenos Aires with her um, boyfriend, Frank. Uh, before starting to talk about Eveline, even if you have the passage we read in class, give a very short summary, and this is an example of a very short summary of the story. I can read it. Eveline is a young woman living in Dublin with her father, Her mother is dead, dreaming of a better life. Eveline plans to elope with Frank, a sailor, who is her secret lover, and start a new life in Argentina. With her mother gone, Eveline is responsible for the house. Her father is drunk and her brother Harry is busy working. Eveline works in a shop and she's tired of her life, uh, so she and Frank book onto a ship leaving for Argentina. But as she is just about to board about to board the ship, Eveline suffers a failure of res resolution, mancanza di decisione, and cannot go through with it. She wordlessly turns around and goes home leaving Frank to board the ship alone. 
um, this story belongs to the group of stories uh, uh, dealing with youth because they represent uh, they contain as the main protagonists young people. Um, sorry. Okay. Um, we can, uh, talking about youth, we normally associate the idea of youth with vitality, life, energy. But in these stories, in the three stories contained in the past, in the, in the part, we uh, realize that it is completely the contrary because the story, for example, Eveline, starts uh, um, at the end of the day, so um, it's quite evening, and this is particularly meaningful as we, we were talking about the symbols. It is a symbol of the end of life instead of the beginning. The girl is uh, watching the world from our window um, and this is what normally early people do uh, and we read that she was tired and we um, understand from the story that it is not a physical tiredness because she's very young but it is a mental psychological one. Eveline uh, doesn't like the reality in which she uh, she's found to live. Uh, she doesn't uh, like the violence of father, the uh, the work in which she's exploited, uh, the general situation. But even if she tries to escape with her boyfriend, at the end of the story she remains paralyzed, uh, unable to react. Uh, and so in these, uh, uh, in her par um, paralyzed uh, behavior, we um, understand the typical uh, behavior of um, Irish people, of Dubliners. Um, as in many other stories uh, of uh, um, Joyce, we have a very uh, detailed uh, description of the relation um, that there is between the past and the future. Um, in fact, Eveline uh, in, the, in the story recalls uh, her memories uh, of the past years uh, when her mother was alive and at the same time she imagines uh, a future. Uh, Joyce was really very interested in this relationship because in, he thought that Ireland needed to progress and needed to concentrate on future uh, instead of uh, thinking, con going on thinking about the past, which was of course glorious, mythical, but it was the past, something that was no more existing. Joyce wanted uh, uh, to see Ireland, he desired Ireland to bring, uh, to bring itself into the modern world instead of the past world. So that um, we can say that uh, Eveline is the symbol of what happened to a lot of uh, contemporary Dubliners in that time. Um, Evelyn's mother and uh, her brother, her um, older brother, the one who died, uh, represent uh, what is positive in the past, but at the same time what she needs is to change her future instead of thinking about a dead past. Uh, at the moment when she must board on the boat, uh, uh, anyhow, Evelyn is unable to realize her desire, so she clings uh, uh, to the barrier um, as she clings to the uh, past story, her past years, and she's unable to leave uh, um, the country. Uh, one of the most of the key words in, Dub in Joyce is uh, paralysis. Uh, people in general feel uh, uh, immobilized, uh, unable to move, uh, uh, trapped in their own lives. Uh, and uh, this is, uh, in, in, in Joyce, uh, from Joyce's point of view, um, uh, was the 
problem of uh, uh, Ireland and Dublin. And uh, Eveline, in, from this point of view, offers an example of how deeply such paralysis uh, uh, could run. Um, and also even leading a very young woman uh, to miss the possibility, the chance of a new start in favour of remaining in an abusive dead-end life.